Any response from the NFL and the Washington Post story? Um, well, you know, the NFL basically uh, is going to let the investigation by the Washington law firm take place and then react to it. Uh, Dan, you know, Dan Snyder's got to go, period. There is no... Uh, there's no way he should be an NFL owner. But how does that happen, though, Peter? It's not going to happen. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm in my opinion, Dan Snyder's got to go. He has to go. And you know, that wasn't two or three instances of sexual harassment. That was 17. And you know, that plus, you know, how about you know, this is a, I, I, this really galled me. Okay, I wrote about it today. How about in his release, in the, in the organization's release, when they say, we're going to look into, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the team nickname, we're going to look into it. So the only word in that release that was used more than the word the was Redskins. Yeah. And that is a guy who's saying, uh, okay, I know I got to change the name, but up yours. I mean, you know, it's it just... It's time for him to go. He's got to go. But also, and Peter, he if he hasn't done a Donald Sterling thing, so he probably won't go. But if you go back to that memo, he he started with sponsors. Like he he wanted to reach out to the sponsors, community, and fans. Like in that order. So you know that this was all this was was about the bottom line with money. I'm losing sponsors. Don't want to lose them. You know, the heck with the community and the fans. It, it was- Nike and FedEx forced Dan Snyder to transfer to the right side of history. And I can, I, I mean, I would bet you, you give him sodium pentothal right now and you ask him, do you want to change the name? He doesn't want no. to change the name. No. Come on. No. And, and so, I mean, he just, you know, Dan Snyder is a bad owner who unfortunately, you know, I remember, as I wrote today, I remember when this team was relevant and this team was fun and RFK Stadium rocked and shook uh, and when they had a competent ownership and management team. Jack Kent Cook was a weird guy, but he was a competent owner. And now they don't have one. And, and if you don't have a competent owner in the NFL, you are in trouble. And that's why my, my I'm serious. I'm, I mean, I'm exaggerating. My heart goes out to COVID patients, but my heart sort of goes out to Washington fans too, because their owner stinks. How can the NFL get him out of there? Does, does any, who has the power to say to Dan Snyder, you must don't, say. They don't. Okay. He, I mean, I don't, I don't see how, how you get him out. Uh, you know, he's, he, he has the ability to stay as the owner of this team uh, unless he does something either illegal or, or whatever. Now, maybe uh, the investigation of his organization is going to find other wrongdoing. I don't know. I yeah, doubt but you it. had Adam Silver who got rid of Donald Sterling. Uh, well, but, he got rid but, of Donald Sterling, but, it, you know, it, it, is Donald Sterling, has Daniel Snyder, done a Donald Sterling. He was at the helm of a place that had 17 cases of accused sexual harassment inside his organization. Okay, so the question is, is that enough to uh, wrest control of a franchise? Well, Jerry Richardson with the Panthers, is that similar? Well, with the Panthers, uh, you know, it is similar for sure. But, you know, Daniel Snyder didn't do personally what Jerry Richardson did. That's the issue. Good to talk to you, Pete. Glad you're back. Ready to go. Thanks a lot, Dan. Really appreciate it. That's Peter King, NBCSports.com, football morning in America.